we'll see. Come here, I have to go to the front and people. I'm talking, so chatting some time ago now, you know. Sometimes you have to get involved. But mm -hmm. we will see. That's the idea, you know. You know, I'm serious. But we will see. Alright, but if you were to run for MP, which constituency would it be? But that's for this and catching so. Alright, there you have it. So a lot of people ask me to break down this live because them not hear whole heap of things in the live or maybe them not have the patient to listen out all of the live. Inside this update, I am going to break it down for you where Vibes Cartel say he would run for MP plus a lot of other stuff. Not only that, in this update, my viewers and my subscribers, Thomas Dads, a female shot put athlete that did an interview exposing the system where she and for Richard her statement or else she will not get another chance to go Olympic. Check this out. Jamaica, I'm getting information now that the J3 and the hierarchy who responsible for the athletes I put out a threat to the young lady asking her to retract her statement or else she will never be accredited again to represent Jamaica internationally. Eh? The minute, and this is an exclusive response, and the headline will be, Daniel Thomas Dodd is not telling the truth. Mm. If she doesn't recant, she'll not be accredited for another Olympic Games. Now, me telling about the freedom of speech in other country, you know. It's like everybody mouth under bandage and nobody at all enough to talk. These wicked people, they want to treat people like say people like garbage and you know to talk about it. You understand what I mean? I say, oh, if I did me, right, I would not reach out my statement. They would have to go to hell. But bless up to my viewers and my subscribers. Them. Me hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful day. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, remember, in everything you do, always put God first. In every uh, any situation, just always remember for call upon God. Always remember for pray. Because a prior day, keep the devil away. Now, my viewers and my subscribers, I want to ask a question. Where is Olivia Bobsy Grange now for come defend this young lady in times like these? That's the question I want to ask. People, we have a lot coming up inside this update, so you definitely want to watch the video until the end. Make we run the intro and come back. We soon forward. So welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers. Big up to all of my viewers. Big up to all of my subscribers. Them. We continually support the channel and help the channel to grow. Now, remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're a new viewer's first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Share the content with a friend, a family, a loved one. Share it on your social media platform. So now my viewers and my subscribers, me I go start off this update with a story that I brought to you guys yesterday with Daniel Thomas Dodds exposing the system and the corruption that she's facing. And not just she, but the other race of athletes as well. Now everybody come out on a backlash her. You understand what I say? They want her to recheck her statement and apologize to Jamaica. But I will say to her, don't apologize. Don't retract no statement. But let me take a dive into what she said. That story of the answers right now. Daniel Thomas Dodd, 31-year-old uh, from Westmoreland, Jamaica. Uh, didn't enjoy it. Your face looks like you weren't so pleased with your result. Tell us a bit about what happened out there. Um, I mean, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, you know, the qualification is something that is definitely within my reach. However, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been very frustrating um, to every time come to these major champ, um, Olympic Games and, you know, not making the finals. And, um, you know, this time around, it was definitely something that I felt like was easy for me to do. Um, however, I didn't have my coach here. I've been in the village for two and a half weeks and I was denied the, the privilege of, of, of having a, a coach's pass for my coach to even be 
at the, the training facilities for two and a half weeks. So you're talking about 365 days of training just gone down the drain because I didn't have my coach for two and a half weeks while being here. So it is definitely very frustrating, um, you know, and it's, 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 I think it's something that I definitely have to sit and reflect on and, and moving forward as to, you know, what will be definitely best for me and my mental health because I cannot do this anymore. It's very frustrating dealing with JOA and J3s because these people don't care about field events in Jamaica. And if they did, they would make sure that we have everything we need to make us comfortable because my coach is not just a part of my, 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 my training process. You know, he's a very crucial part of my warm-up and getting ready for preparations. And I didn't have him for two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. It's very frustrating because this is definitely something that I'm more than capable of obtaining. And I came short today. Yeah, I can feel and sense and understand your frustration, particularly now that you see Jamaica competing so well in the field event. Exactly, and that's the irony of it. The gold medal that they were sitting down waiting for did not come from the track. It came from the field event. And, that, and, the, and those are the events that they neglect so much in Jamaica. And most of the medals that we have gotten so far at these games comes from the field events. And we're the most marginalized groups within Jamaica track and field, and it's very frustrating and it's time for them to stop and really reflect on what they're doing to us as athletes. Daniel Thomas, I'm grateful you spoke your mind to us and I'm so compassionate and sorry for your experience. You really performed well on this world stage, well done. Thank you very much. After that interview with Daniel Thomas does, trust me people, it a creator of hope in the Jamaican space because a lot of people don't happy about the interview that she did. And when I say a lot of people don't happy with the interview that she did, a whole heap of threat starts sent out there to this young lady. The first thing we hear was a voice note that released what and what they might go do to her. Jamaica, I'm getting information now that the J3 and the hierarchy who responsible for the athletes I put out a threat to the young lady asking her to retract her statement or else she will never be accredited again to represent Jamaica internationally. Eh? The entire country will purge. Jamaica, as me say, me not like tell life on them in a bottle. It kind of small to read but uh, like oh for me i good at me still young let me read it for now see it here what them say we say that the j3 is demanding that miss thomas dodd recants her statements or they'll never accredit her for another olympic games and then tag babsy grange and say miss this can't right. Jamaica, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Jamaica, when we as citizens can't speak. Eh? Jesus Christ. No, we see what make other athletes are willing to compete and represent other countries other than them own. Eh? So after that interview, they threaten this young lady that if she doesn't Recheck her statement and apologize. She would not be able to compete at another Olympic because they would ban her. Now, where is the freedom of speech? I saw them supposed to cheat us Jamaican people. Now, people, listen to this. The minute, and this is an exclusive response. And the headline will be, Daniel Thomas Dodd is not telling the truth. Hmm. If she doesn't recant, she'll not be accredited for another Olympic Games. Wow. Wow. We're putting that together as we speak. I just came back. Yes. Well, I suspect we're going to have more of this, you know, because of uh, the, the performance or lack of performance in Paris. And there, I suspect to there, magnify things. Yes, and I suspect there are several other stories to be told as to what... Without question. What really, yeah, is happening? Uh, what's really... What, what is happening in Paris? What is it? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, well I can tell you. I, I've heard about more. 
I'm not going to say it because I'm not yet being able to put a finger on it or get anybody to say yay or nay about it. But you're right. You suspect there are going to be more stories. I suspect so. Thank you, Wayne. Take care of yourself. All right, so care. after that, update my people and everything are going. JOA President Christopher Samoda clears the ear regarding a report made by a local media house that the association would not issue an accreditation to shot put toward Daniel Thomas Dodd for another Olympic game unless she rechecks a statement, a recent statement. Absolutely not. I did not say that. And if it is a question that Mr. Walker had reported that, I think you should interview him and ask him to retract. Not at all. As a matter of fact, Mr. Walker had asked me in relation to the Olympic Solidarity Scholarship if she would consider, be considered for the future. And I said once she satisfies the criteria. Vignitiveness is not in the camera of myself and the jury. Now, the drama continue as Jamaica team management at the Olympic Ludlow or Ludlow what says Daniel Thomas Dodds coach was given a coaching pass that would have allowed him to be in the stadium on the day of the shot put. Now why he would go want a one day pass and not for be there with her? Or not take people for idiot. No people, this one my face. Unless her coach traveled with her throughout the summer in Europe at various meets. But she but I also mentioned I also mentioned that you got coaches pass during a competition in Paris. So I don't know, and she and he was in fact in Paris. So are you saying then, that. Mr. Watts, are you me. saying then that that's her her coach who is her husband could have been at different training sessions with her throughout uh, her time at the Olympics before she went on to the field to do her event? Or could have I been with her a, at the point of the event as I well? Made a statement. I made a statement that she had the, it was possible for her to do whatever she wanted to do with the, in the absence with the, her coach or with the Jamaican coach. So no, but, but what we're trying to understand been. is that the coaching pass that you're speaking of, could her coach have been with her in the stadium at the time of her event? He got coaching pass for her to part for her event. That's what I said. Yes. Ah. Yes. I don't know if he was in there, but he got the pass. I didn't see actual look and see him there and say he was there. I saw you there, but he got the pass for her in competition. Mm -hmm. It was provided. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole of them are run up and dug, you know, like a headless chicken. From this girl, um, did her interview. And uh, I personally believe this girl because these people, they are so lying and wicked and treat people like them think, so, yo, we are garbage, are, you know, they're not cheat, they are treat them good. And that is why you see Leon Bailey always come out and bash the Jamaican Federation, Football Federation. And the female them did the same as well. Remember when the female them did for the um, World Cup? Only remember? And them did a fear pick up charity. So I believe this girl. These people don't treat them good. And them need to stop. And a long time somebody did to call them out upon the world stage. Just like how the, um, the female footballer them did call them out upon the world stage. And them beat the female footballer them. Beat them. And punish them same way. But that is not right, my people. That is not right. But take in some more interview. Chris, uh, uh, thanks so much for having a chat with us. Mm -hmm. You would have seen and heard what Daniel yes. Thomas Dodd 
had to say, um, she says she's sick and tired of organizations who are not, you know, amenable to, 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 to throwers. Um, what do you say about that? Mm -hmm. I can quite understand why Daniel is a bit disappointed. Mm -hmm. It's twice now that she has not made the final. So I can understand the emotionalism around it. But we have to understand the facts. And, I, and Daniel is, in fact, aware of the facts. And let me start with her personally. Mm -hmm. Daniel has been the beneficiary of an Olympic solidarity scholarship for four years now. Mm -hmm. And that is by, um, by virtue of the Jewe supporting her. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't lie in her mouth to say that the Jewe has not supported her personally. Mm -hmm. And perhaps the reporter who interviewed her should have questioned the answers. Had he questioned the answers, he would have realized that she's been supported by the Jamaica Olympic Association by virtue of an Olympic Solidarity Scholarship. So that's in relation to her. Right. In relation to her allegation about throws, let me list the amount of throws who the Joe, Joey has benefited and who have consistently mm -hmm. are in touch with us. Frederick Dakers is a beneficiary of the Olympic Solidarity Scholarship. Mm -hmm. Kai Chang, Odeen Richards, and I could name others. So it is very unfortunate that Daniel, knowing the facts, mm -hmm. would have created an impression that the Jamaica Olympic Association is not helping our throwers. As a matter of fact, when the throwers reached out to us, in relation to the situation that existed at the University of the West Indies um, Museum track mm -hmm. in terms of their lights. We, in fact, spent money and repaired the lights so that they could train in the dark. So it is absolutely unfair mm -hmm. for her to say that. Mm -hmm. And I would really love the reporter to perhaps interview her. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tell you how much money she got, and it is in the US. Mm -hmm. The but, 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 but it would help if you, if you say how much money because if she says she yes, no. you guys don't support the throwers no um, no 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 way no. yes people must speak the truth and we must allow them to speak the truth rather than it coming from another party mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i'm inviting the very reporter who in fact interviewed her to go back and ask her are you a beneficiary of the Olympic Solidarity Scholarship, courtesy of the Jamaica Olympic Association? Mm -hmm. And the intent of that scholarship is to help her in coaching, help her in her daily expenses, help her to get to certain training facilities as well as competition facilities. Mm -hmm. So had she given that perspective, way, right. I am sure that the reporter would have, in fact, conveyed a different impression mm -hmm. in terms of the report that was made. But probably the reporter sure. did, 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 didn't know or doesn't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't possibly have put no, that. No, I think a fair question. Are. If somebody is alleging that you have not helped them, yes, a fair question that should in fact reside in your mind is that: Have you ever received any help from the Jamaica Olympic Association? Mm -hmm. And there could only be one answer. All right. What about the the claim that she made? Yes. About the accreditation of her personal coach. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think she was careful to say. Mm -hmm. All she wanted was accreditation so yes. the coach would get access, mm -hmm. not accommodation. Mm -hmm. We accredit on the basis of the advice from the Jamaica Athletics Amateur um, Athletic Administration, Administration Association. Association. Yes. So we don't select coaches. Mm -hmm. We accredit coaches and we accredit athletes based on the list that we get from each federation. Did you get one with your coach? With? I don't think so. The finalist was certainly not. Mm -hmm. Finalists certainly was not. And I think the J3s could better um, answer that question and give a perspective. Mm -hmm. But we certainly are not in the decision making when it comes to coaches. We yes. get the coaches and we accredit them. Mm -hmm. but, but, but even so, yes. you've got a particular al allocation, you know, you've got mm -hmm. a particular allocation of mm -hmm. personnel to include yes. coaches mm -hmm. when you're accrediting. Yes. So, how do you determine which coaches you send back to the J3 when they send their list to you? No, they request the coaches. Yes. They requested seven initially and then they requested mm -hmm. them and we gave them. Mm -hmm. So we, in fact, as I said before, accredit on the basis of information we receive from the Federation. Mm -hmm. It certainly is not within our jurisdiction to select coaches. Mm -hmm. That is the purview of the Jamaica mm -hmm. Athletics Administrative Association and I'm sure that they would have consultation with the respective coaches. Mm. So that's for them to answer? Absolutely. Okay, all right, so I get that. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing we can clearly say, only a fool would not I, would I even believe anything at all when no one wants to say from the board. Only a fool would not believe nothing at all with any one of say. But what I understand is where is the backative behind this woman. People need to come out and back this woman. Because what they are doing to her now, 
they are trying to tear her down because she speak her mind, because she speak what she's going through. They are trying to tear her down now and make she look like a bad person or like a troublemaker and that should have never happened. People need to stand up with this girl for what she has done. She make a brave move. I should say that she make a brave move. I'm a love that. Bless up herself, Daniel. Bless up. Now, Vibes Cartel said he would run for MP for St. Catching South if Mark Golden call on him. Now, the question I would like to ask you guys. Would you vote for Vibes Cartel if Vibes Cartel run for MP for St. Catching South? Would you like to see Vibes Cartel get involved in politics? Now, the big question was pop and I sat Buchanan, Buchanan show um, context matters and I am going to show you the clip people so you can have a better understanding of what I am talking about. You understand what I say? Now remember to leave your honest opinion down below in the comment section. Check this out. That it, well, it's, it all depends on the government. That's why time forward because we Mark will have to fix a slogan, but I guess. But yeah, but remember me, me as the artist, mm -hmm. even though my life, I was going to say I'm a favorite color, we still have to talk and buy us. I mean, let us see, let us see. Where, 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 Mark is here, but I'm going to go, I have to split just. The same thing I go a long time mm -hmm. from both parties in the power. That's why I prefer whole party more than anything else. <laughs> But we will see. Come on, we have to just run for MP. I'm talking, so chatting sometime ago, you know. Sometime you have to get involved. But we will see. That's the idea, you know. No, I'm serious. But we will see. Alright, but if you were to run for MP, which constituency would it be? But that's for the same catching so. Alright, there you have it. Oh, no. Vibes Cartel is also planning on suing the state people. And not just the state, but you know, so when him sue the state and the Jamaican people them pack it, him so. And that is because of Paul Llewellyn and Han Jones and I know them I go pay back all of these money. Now, I want to take a listen, take a look at what Vibes Cartel had to say when Isaac Buchanan asked him about suing the state and his response. Just listen to what Vibes Cartel had to say, people. And remember to leave a like on this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. And turn on the post notification bell for new content. All right, tell a friend, if you tell a friend, if you tell a friend, feel subscribe to the answer right to review TV. Big up on yourself. I'm out. Think about um, the, the system mm -hmm. and what you endure. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna ask people, ask, are you gonna sue for for, for losses? What what what's what? What's your what's your thought right now when it comes to that? I said, I'm buying up. Legally, yes. We have a ballot. The Privy Council. No, not even the Privy Council. After that, when we come back and join the Yes. The little, what, five. Oh, the reach, the reach, the reach. The reach, I'm in a quarter of a year. Yeah. Just the affidavit, them, and the application, them. A 14 million Johnny Candle like class, me. Mm -hmm. You know that? Mm -hmm. Privy Council, that about 600,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That 100 million Johnny Candle. Mm -hmm. I want to start talking about the Jamaica, the Jamaica, right. nah, the Jamaica Tri first trial. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's supposed to answer the question. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's a yes. I mean, I don't hear you answer the question. I'm taking me to see the people in some context. <laughs> and it matters. Uh, many would have said that you um it's a bad influence on society and society now gonna recover now that you're free. Um Jamaica mash up, whatever, whatever. That's a rubbish. Remember right. since me day prison, it. since me day of prison from mm -hmm. 2011 to 2013. Yes. As over 17,000 Jamaicans get married. I have the statistics, as a matter of fact, me did send it to you. Mm. So we have the statistics. So when me day of prison, I didn't say I can't tell a past crime. So only they are prison for 12 years. And as over 17,000 Jamaicans get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever see somebody get murdered yet? Or it grows up? 17,000 Jamaican citizens get murdered from 2011 to 20, um, 23. 23. Mm -hmm. So who, 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 who influenced that? No, well... And a matter of fact, before cartel bus, who used to influence the murder mm -hmm. them before that? That's a real... You know what I mean? People simple-minded, 
and people small minded mm. and we can't be held responsible for them narrow minded view of the world and how things work. You know them way they so yeah. Sorry not sorry. Sorry not sorry. But in terms of <clears throat> the messaging to the youths. Me not owe nobody no message. You know some youth them grow good. I mean I always tell people say if you look for artists to raise your kids, you have already lost Fear, as a parent. Fear. Fear. What kind of parenting skill you have? Yeah. That's you want a man to bleach out and full of tattoo and yeah, tell yeah, the girl yeah. them to skin out and suck this and suck that. And a man they want to raise a picnic, sir? Yeah, really. And a man they want to raise a picnic, miss? Really? That's what I tell you, say, the people that have a narrow minded view of how things should be. Mm. You raise your own child, people. Teacher, teacher. You know what I mean? It is what it is. A prison is still raising my picnic, them. None of them not firing a gun. I would have stretched me and found through the prison with them. <laughs> one of them. You understand? It's my daughter graduated from Woolman's with you. With diploma and them things now, she has got college. Mm -hmm. She has got to share the sixth farm now. Mm -hmm. So when you say that about cartel, a gunman and cartel, or this and cartel, and that, just notice how my picnic them raised. And then I hype me and hype her, show off. No, you, 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 know, you raise show something, yourself. but... Yeah, because my father raised me good. I just need to choose an alternate lifestyle. You understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, sometimes the streets call you and when they call you, they call you loud. And sometimes your parents, them, may have, may have, to be honest, sometimes the parents are busy because they are work. Mm -hmm. So enough of them really don't have time to stay home and raise them. But child. stop right but there. But still. No, yeah, stop yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. That just means that there is an, there is an aspect of influence. We never said we not influence. Well, no, no. Influential, so, sorry. No, so the fact that you are influential, there's yes. something about the messages. Mm -hmm. um, are you saying that you don't have responsibility because of the, the Social nature responsibility. Of, because of the nature of the art form, or is there something you could do? Because remember, you know, mm -hmm. you're the one who said kiss me baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, Missy kiss me baby, gym workout. Yeah, yeah. Um, coach, coach. Coach Row and I've kissed yeah, the baby. That, we yeah, that. From day one, we said to ask everybody away. Right, class. right. Get that. I know that. You, uh, bandana. Bandana. Yeah. Or oh, you that. wear your bandana. So yeah. because of that and you are a trendsetter, mm -hmm. um in a in a in a in a society where as you said the parents are absent mm -hmm. and, and and those who have their parents are are guided but where people are easily misguided yes um in terms of the messaging you're saying but a lot of that is mm -hmm. you can't blame cartel for that because I tell you, no, man. misguided children have been around before vice cartel mm -hmm. boss mm -hmm. before bonding